This is Chris from TDW Woodworks and today I'm getting out the scroll saw and using spiral blades so that I can make some uh, ornamental tree wall hangings and uh, I figured I'd show you the process I use to uh, to make these wall hangings and use a spiral blade. Now the process I use is I start going to Google and from there I do an image search of either a tree silhouette or a tree vector. Uh, nonetheless, I'll go there and start looking through an image search and finding something that might work well, that it doesn't have too much detail. Um, the more detail, the more time consuming it's going to be. Now this one looks kind of cool here um, for a wider one. A lot of inside cuts, but it should work. And uh, ultimately I think I'm going to pick this one here. I like this because it doesn't have too much detail and I can make the trunk a little longer. So use whatever photo editing software you have. Um, sometimes you can sort of uh, clean it up a little bit. You make sure that there's no big spots that you know you can't cut with the blade. But I just go to my print, and what I'll do is I'll zoom out. I'll expand it out to much bigger than a standard size sheet of paper, and I'll make my first print. Uh, and then after I make my first print. I'll just shift it up here and uh, make my second print so that they'll overlap over each other. So now I'm just uh, preparing the pattern. I'm finding the place that it overlaps and then once I do that I tape it into place. Uh, then just to trim it up a little bit to make it a little easier to work and it looks like that trunk is a little too short so I'm going to extend it out putting the bottom and then just drawing a line in between to kind of extend the length to make it look like a taller redwood. And then I just use a little spray adhesive to uh, attach it to the, to the hardwood. And once I drill out my holes, I just turn, flip it over and just smooth it out with a sanding block. So I start out with uh, doing all my inside cuts. It's just my technique. I like to do it. And then I'll do all the outside cuts. Sometimes I do the reverse of that. Now if I was cutting this with a standard blade, it would be you know, twirling it around counterclockwise and clockwise. and but with a spiral blade, it makes things a lot easier. I can work on it, cut in all directions, and I don't have to be so exactly right on the line. It's a little more forgiving. So this is a perfect project to use a spiral blade if you haven't tried one before. All right, so here we go. Now I just need to simply peel off the, uh, the pattern. Um, you can use whatever method you like. I try to tear it off. I generally like to use uh, acetone. I actually just soak a rag and uh, you know it allows it to get all of that glue residue off of there. Now you won't want to do this if you're using a laser printer but if it's an inkjet just soak it up with the acetone and once it really soaks in there that glue will release and it just peels right up. Uh, it works pretty well for me anyways. And once you're done, just give it a once over and make sure you're back down to the raw wood. Get all of that glue residue so that the finish, however you plan to finish it, will stick well. I like to use a product called Bush Oil. It's a premium quality penetrating oil and it works really good for hardwoods. You'll have to get creative to get it inside of the nooks and crannies. I just use a little uh, glue brush. Alright, she's uh, looking pretty good so far. I think, uh, you can kind of see it's got a really, if you can see it's got a nice little wood grain to it. See, I like the little bit of a thicker feel to it so you can hang it on the wall. Now, if I was going to mount this directly to, a, uh, to another board, I might use thinner wood. But if you're going to have it just as, it's about a half inch thick, um, give or take a little bit. So let's just go ahead and put a hanger on there and I think it's going to come up pretty good. In most cases I use these little quarter inch nails um, and some picture hangers and I just use the uh, needle nose pliers to hold it in place and tap it in. Keep it a little loose at first, put the second one in, finish it up. Now to keep the nails from popping out, um, I just hit it with a little CA glue um, just to put a little dab on the, uh, the nail heads and hit it with a little accelerator and we're all set and it's pretty much ready to go. And I think it came up pretty cool. So here it is up on the wall and using this idea I've made several different types of things. You can see all different uh, uh, wood grain in this one but there's some other examples of some of the ones I've made and uh, hopefully this inspires you to get in the shop and try it yourself. So this is Chris from TDW Woodworks.